So manual grinders have surged in popularity, especially for those who appreciate how much better coffee is when made from fresh ground beans. On top of that, grinding by hand really emphasizes the artisan aspect of brewing. But depending on the manual grinder you choose, you've got huge differences in the effort required, quality of the grind, and ease of use. So to highlight the differences, we've got a Hario Ceramic Coffee Mill and the Rock Coffee Grinder. We'll compare how long it takes to grind, the quality of the result, and ease of use. Now the Hario has been around for a while and is a lower cost alternative. The Rock is newer, costs more, and just came off a very successful crowd-funded Indiegogo campaign. So first up, how much coffee can each grind in 30 seconds? I've set each grinder to a medium grind, about what you do for a drip or pour over coffee. I'm grinding steadily and trying to use about the same force with each. At the end, I'll weigh and see how much each can grind. One thing to notice right off the bat is the motion. The rock grinder is more natural. Cranking in a vertical motion puts more of my effort into grinding. With the Hario, I'm using a lot of effort just to hold the canister in place while I turn the crank. With the Rock's longer handle, it feels like I'm using my power more efficiently. Okay, 30 seconds is up. Weighing the results, the Rock ground about 14 grams, while the Hario produced about 5.5. So in the same time, I ground nearly three times as much on the Rock. Taking a look at the quality of the grind, we see the Rock produces a very consistent particle size, while the particle size from the Hario has quite a bit of variation. Now that's important as inconsistent particle size results in uneven flavor extraction. Now particle size variation is a result of a grinder's burr wobbling. It's easy to see the Hario's burr wobbling, while the Rock's burr is mounted to a shaft carried by a couple of very solid bearings, so there's no burr wobble. Setting grind size on the Rock is simple. A numbered ring allows for quick stepless adjustment. On the Hario, you have to remove a nut, remove a clip, turn the shaft, do a little guessing, then put everything back together. In use, the rock grinder is held in place by a super tacky material on its base. In fact, most of the time it only takes one hand to operate. On the Hario, you have to hold on with one hand while turning the crank with the other to keep everything in place. In the end, the rock grinder does cost more, so you need to decide, is the speed, quality, and ease of use worth it for you?